Very well, then. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? Nothing. You're doing all right. Just keep practicing. I'm not even here. You're all alone in the woods and nobody's here to judge you. Not even me. See how I'm born? That must be her. Stop. Wait. I've got a beautiful melody for you. Listen to this. Just keep on playing. Will you come out of there? Who? Why, you, of course. Who, me? Have you forgotten you're all alone? <sighs> I'm not alone. You are here. And who else? Nobody. Aha! Uh -huh. If you were a friend of the forest, they'd all be here. The moss hogs and the hazel ferrets. The pebble crane would even rain on you from the skies to honor you. And the wood foxes would build a magnificent bonfire and everyone would dance. What? But as you are not a friend of the forest, everyone just stayed at home. If I were a friend of the forest, would you come out then? Yes, in that case we'd have something to talk about. We'd have to stand in awkward silence otherwise. And in order to be a friend of the forest, I'd have to... Have friends, that's right. Resin rats, for example. Or paper finches. And where would I find those? If you don't have any friends, you have to make them up. What on earth has Gwynling foisted upon me? I'll be back in a minute. What a peculiar snail shell. It's like an elven cornucopia from the old tales. What's hidden in the foliage there? Guess I'll have to dig in the foliage then. Ow! No fairy, just a hedgehog. A snail should be the right treat for you. He seems to like it, but he's too scared. At last, an animal that's easy to catch. Very well. Perhaps Gwynling will settle for a hedgehog in case I can't catch the fairy. Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. Help yourself. I have plenty of those. Lure the fairy out of her hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. All right. This one goes here. That one there. This one over there. Chestnut mannequin. Hello? Well, now, a chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts and... Uh, and he's my friend. I'm deeply honoured, your tiny majesty. Here on here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Finally. What a strange place. 
dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda, and this is Miss Greenbald, Finkel and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghosts, and Plapperup. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you... in love? Now that's unfortunate. I thought you were a fairy. All this nonsense completely in vain. Of course I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy. We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no. The dolls. They... No, please. Please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. But you are a fairy? Yes. Why? Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world, which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. Oh, that's marvellous. But, no, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Did you come from the fairy land? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my world. Without its water, my soul dries up. Like a plant. Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm, let me think about it. Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's just the way it is. Well, all right. To each their own secrets. I'll be back in a minute. Whoever sealed this fairy gate certainly wasn't weak. Can I borrow one of these ribbons? Not those. I wanted to use them to... No. I can't remember what I wanted with them. I'll give them to you as a present. Get out of there! It's like an elven cornucopia from the old tales. Very well, but how do I seal the snail shell now? Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. I should still fasten it somehow. A cornucopia medallion. Have you seen my waterfall yet? It keeps flowing downwards, even at night. Look what I've made for you. You've tied Yerk of the snail to a leather ribbon. No, look. The snail shell is filled with water from the fairy gate. Now you can come with me. Really? Just try it. All righty, let's go.
You have to show me everything. Where do we go first? We have to go to Andergast. Is that where you live? That's one way of expressing it. Which way? This way. Wait! Look, Geron. A magnificent bird. This plague gets worse and worse. Come, there's the town gate. I just want to say hello to him. This unkempt black witch's beast? Says the ugly, pale-faced pig-eater. Hello, Raven. I advise you to avoid the town. What's he saying? Two dark figures tiptoe past the gate. They're on the lookout for your fairy friend. Who says she's a fairy? I am a fairy. She's lying. How come you can talk anyway? And how do you know everything? I once made a big mistake. So the gods punished me by giving me the conscience of a man. Birds don't make mistakes. Birds just do whatever it is that birds do. You mean like the crows in this town? Why don't you regale us with a cheerful tale? Stay away from him, Nuri. Something's wrong here. But all creatures have the gift of speech, Garon. That's not important. Come on, you'll be safe with me and Gwynling. Why is the door open? This is where you live? <laughs> Something's wrong here. Look at this mess. Is this blood? By the gods, there's somebody here. The fairy. I have to hide her. 